today we're going to be creating this isometric illustration of an app following a step-by-step -step process. So stick around and let's go. So I've broken this process into four easy steps that is going to help us to tackle any project. So first you need to understand the layout you want to illustrate. So for me, I picked the YouTube app. It could be any app you're working on. And next off, you want to pick out your area of focus. So I just wanted to showcase mainly the search bar, YouTube play area, and the section for more videos. So you need to pin down what you want to illustrate first before going ahead into it. And next, you want to spend some time to trace over these elements you've picked out. This might take some time. I spent about 30 minutes to an hour tracing over the key elements to make them look like how I want. And another important part of this tutorial is you want to make sure your layer panel on the right here is properly organized because that's going to help you during the 3D process. So just make sure everything is properly grouped and you'll be saving yourself a lot of headaches. This is how the final 2D version is looking. Just in case you might struggle to come up with this, I've provided the Illustrator file in the description. So check it out after watching the video. So we have our illustration ready and all our layers. So let's just select the back layer, go to Effect 3D and Extrude and Bevel. Change your position to isometric top and you can set your depth to about 60 points just so you can have some more depth. Change your surface to no shading and press OK. This helps us to retain the original color that we set. But we need some depth on the sides so we'll just go to expand the appearance and we can change the colors of the left and right edges. So just select that using your direct selection tool go to your swatch and just make it a little bit darker and there you have it we're going to use the same technique for the menu and the youtube icon so just go to effect extrude and bevel but this time we'll be setting our extrude depth to zero so we don't want to really make it so thick we're going to use a different technique to add shadows so just drag the icons in place go to extrude and bevel and drag the youtube icon in place as well so we'll also remember to expand so go to object expand appearance object expand appearance so now we're going to select both of them and we're going to edit copy edit paste in the back so we have a double layer behind it which will move down and just press D on your keyboard and shift and X to make the fill black and take out the stroke, which is going to create kind of a shadow and you can set the opacity to just about 60% to give it that shadow effect. All right, so we'll apply the same 3D effect to the search bar, but we'll give it a depth of about 40 points just to make it stand out from the page and I think I'll just move out some of these extra layers here for some space. So I'll put the search bar in place. Actually, I think I'll increase the stroke a little. Yeah, I think 50 is okay. And go to expand appearance. And for the sides, don't forget to make a few tweaks to them. So we'll just reduce the opacity. So it's kind of like see-through. So we can set that to about 40 pixels and we'll duplicate it as well behind just like we did for the YouTube. But this time we're going to use a Gaussian blur effect. So go to effect blur and Gaussian blur. We've put that about 18 pixels and can also adjust the piste a little. For the notification icon, I applied the 3D effect already and I'll just add the dark shadow behind using the same technique we used before. Just reduce the opacity to about 40%. Then I'll duplicate this red um, circle and just increase it and give it a simple blur, a Gaussian blur of about 12 pixels, just to give it that highlight. 
and i'm having some troubles with the bell icon so i'll just go to the layers panel and bring it forward and this is the benefit of arranging your layers you never get lost in the layer panel so from here we're just repeating the 3d extrude and bevel effect and we'll just set a stroke of about 30 pixels just to give the play view some depth and for the play section we didn't add any extrude depth but we'll add a unique style of shadow by duplicating the layer and giving it a, an opacity of about 40 percent then just drag it into the base rectangle and it seems there's some misalignment here so we'll just bring the play view on top and just make some tiny adjustments to make those sections darker for some more depth and we'll just go ahead to resize it to fit within the frame and we'll move to the more video section so we'll just select them and put them in a group and apply the same 3d effect but without any depth because we want it to lay flat we'll just expand it and drag it in place and we'll use a simple ctrl c ctrl b technique to duplicate it and then we'll push the behind layer down so we can make it black and give it that same shadow effect that we've been using across the video so we'll just make some tiny adjustments to make sure everything is nice and tight and there we go we have our final app illustration good to go let's learn how to make that really cool gradient at the back so we'll just create a simple rectangle we'll select it go to gradient and click on the mesh gradient and we already have some colors saved at the beginning which you'll find um, in the description so just apply the colors at each corner of the gradient mesh i had some issues with the red at the bottom so i just expanded the rectangle so that hash part can be out and there we go guys we have our illustration looking good to go and you can use this in so many of your projects thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to please like and subscribe and if you'd love to learn more illustrator tips and techniques just click the video on the screen. Bye-bye.